In this tutorial, we're going to cover uh, working with text on a path. So text on a path is pretty simple. It's fitting text to a shape. In this example, probably the best example, I think which is uh, one of the world's most recognized logos, is, uh, is text on a path. And, and this is a pretty simple path. It's a circle. So let's talk about creating that since it's uh, so highly used. So we're going to delete the Starbucks logo from our workspace. What we're going to do now is we're going to draw a circle. And in fact, we're going to draw two different objects. I'm going to draw a circle, but I'm also going to go to my freehand tool, and I'm just going to draw sort of a, a uh, bumpy hill. So these are two different paths, and we're going to use these to uh, sort of showcase how we can use this uh, regardless of the shape. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my text tool. Of course, I can hit F8 on my keyboard to activate the text tool. And we'll go ahead and type out text on a path. And once that is selected, uh, maybe we'll go change the style of font. We'll give this something unique. We'll size that a little bit larger. Um, so here's the process. In fact, here's the easiest way to fit text on any path. I can go ahead and right mouse click on my text. So I, I'm right mouse clicking and I'm holding down the right mouse button. And I can go ahead and drag that and position it right over a, uh, a path. And notice how I sort of have this crosshair uh, that, that's indicated where my pick tool was. If I let go of the right mouse button, I'm going to get this option that says fit text on path. So I'll go ahead and make this selection here, fit text to path. And notice how the, the text is now on the uh, contour of my circle. Now I have the ability to go ahead and continue to mani manipulate this. So this red indicator will let me reposition the text. So I can either skew it down and, and readjust it. You'll also notice this little red indicator. So anytime um, you see that red indicator, you'll know that you're either centered or you're adjusting it in, uh, in proportion. So right now that means that it's centered in the middle of this particular uh, circle. So I can go ahead and position my text. Now I can offset my text, meaning I can move it away from the path, or I can bring it on the inside of the path. So I'm just left mouse clicking, I'm holding down as I bring that on the inside of the path. So you can see it's pretty easy to uh, migrate text wherever you so should uh, choose. So that's a pretty simple example. Let's do the same thing. Let's uh, go ahead and take our text and uh, we'll go ahead and type out a new string of text here. Text on a path and uh, we'll go ahead and change the size of this ever so slightly. Uh, of course we can change the font size. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and right mouse click, hold down the right mouse button and drag my text to this new path let go and I have the option that says fit text to path. Now you see how I can also con constrain this on the path and follow it however I so should uh, choose and make those changes. Now on some occasions you're going to get some quirky things that appear here but the cool thing is this is still text meaning I can still make changes. So uh, one of the quickest ways to make a change in, in this particular example is to go to your shape tool and the shape tool will allow me to sort of stretch out the, uh, the text on that path and really spread it out. So you can see how I can really exaggerate that. Or I can go back here and just grab a specific character. Uh, for example, I can grab the A, and I can just click to reposition that specific character. So we have a lot of controls here on how this is going to look and appear. Pretty straightforward and simple. Now some of the other things that you, you may notice uh, when I go back to you know, a path is we have some presets here. So I can choose to really position this wherever it's going to be appropriate. So there's some different stylings, as you can see. There's no one right way to do this, just really relative to your project. Now I also want to point this out. If I were to take this text and maybe force it to the bottom of my path, notice how it's upside down, we can use the mirror text controls here to kind of reverse that positioning. So you see how I mirrored the text horizontally and then I mirrored the text vertically and it positioned the text on the bottom of the path uh, in a very, very easy way. So we always have the option to come back and change the style of text. If I want to go to Century Gothic and continue to make edits, you know, this is still active text, so you still have all the controls to, to really do that. So I can space out my text, you know, make edits as necessary, and uh, then we can, of course, uh, you know, complete uh, any kind of graphic changes that we want, and we can go to production. Now, one other thing I want to point out, so we have this circle here. If I want to eliminate that, all I'm going to do is right mouse click on one of these uh, sort of boxes with the X through it, and that's above uh, any of your color palettes, and that will remove any outline or any objects that you have. Or in contrast, I can always go to the Arrange menu, and you can um, go ahead and convert this to curves, and that will make your text now just a uh, uh, sort of graphic element, and I can delete that circle. So, of course, you want to save this as original, because once you convert something to curves, it's no longer text, it's now just simply a graphic. Uh, 